today we're here to provide a demonstration of the Imarsat Global Express Skyware Atom 65 Auto Acquire Terminal. The Atom 65 Auto Acquire is a, is a lightweight transportable system uh, which provides global access to the Imarsat Global Express network. Uh, it comes in uh, a configuration of two uh, IASA compliant rugged uh, cases uh, for, for, for airline check-in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do uh, in assembly is to set up the tripod. Tripod's quite light lightweight and has a number of wing nuts. All we need to do is loosen the top wing nuts to be able to extend the legs. Now it's important when positioning that you position the leading ed edge of the uh, tripod towards the general direction of the satellite. Uh, and also there's a bracket where the paradigm interface module or the PIM is located. And it's important that that is at the rear of the terminal. So now we can just tighten up the legs. And now uh, we'll place the GX10 or the antenna control unit on the terminal. The GX10 um, should be installed with the connectors facing to the, to the rear towards you. So you place it in the slot and there's a large wing nut underneath which you'll screw up not too tight as because we may have to, uh, may have to turn the, the system during the acquisition process. This will just secure the GX10 to the unit. We're now ready to place the transceiver unit on top of the GX10. There's a couple of things to note about the, G about the transceiver unit. Uh, this transceiver from Skyware Technologies is a 5 watt transceiver. It was built especially for GX, um, supporting uh, Imarsat's one touch commissioning system for, for super easy commissioning. So on the underside of the transceiver unit, uh, you'll notice there's a couple of slots. So what we do is we'll position the transceiver unit over the top of the GX10. Uh, and then it simply slips forward to the point where we can tighten up these wing nuts on the side. The next thing we want to do uh, is place the, the cable uh, on the paradigm location sensor. So the PLS, this unit on top here, provides the GPS, uh, the dire direction, uh, and the level of the terminal to help during the acquisition sequence. Uh, and it's important to put this cable on first because it just makes it a little bit easier later on. So the PLS cable is this small cable. We simply slip it in. lining up the white dots on the side and then it connects to the side of the GX10. Okay, the next job uh, is to attach the reflector. The reflector comes in four pieces. We first take the, the large reflector, the center piece, and there's a, a tongue and groove type system on the back that we'll slip into. So just loosen the large wing nut on the back and it slips down into the home position. Then you want to tighten that up. The next thing to do is place the side reflectors on. Each of these reflectors only fits in one position so there's no way to put them on incorrectly. So again, you pull out the cams and place the tongue into the, into the reflector. And then on the rear, uh, just lock down the cams. Do the other side. Lock down the cams. And finally, we'll place on the top reflector. For the top piece of the reflector, there are also a couple of clips on the side just to lock it into position. 